Good morning, Turtle Club. Hope everyone's having a great start to their weekend. Or, uh, you know, in some cases it's a pre weekend, right? You know, or you just your just for week in general. Uh, we are here, uh, me and Rusty both. It is currently storming outside. Now, that's not a, a bad thing in and of itself. It's not a huge problem in and of itself. But what it is, uh, when all said and done, it does mean that there is a, a non-zero chance that we will have a, a problem with streaming. Um, hopefully we don't have that happen, but you never know. So, as we left off, uh, two things. One, that... Like, I want to go into the middle of all of that and find out what's going on. And I, I, I get this, uh, I get this feeling that that's like a no access permitted kind of place. Call me crazy, but that's just kind of, it seems, oh, we didn't hit the whole jackpot there? Oh, we have to see what that is then. But we don't have any charges, so... Alright, so we have a few things we need to do. Number one, we need to find a forge. Right? Um, so, there's a crystal refinery there. So, I feel like we go to the Room Awakening and we should be able to go to that forge. Uh, because we have some, not a whole lot, but we have some Zonite. Right? Maybe. Maybe we have some crystals, something along those lines. Um, so we're going to take a look. Because um, my brain says that we, somewhere, we, we need to be able to get like a, a balloon, right? Oh, really? We're going to have the blood moon happen while we're here? Oh! The snot! Like, out of nowhere. Korok? Suddenly Korok. Huh. Alright. Well, that that is... That is beyond interesting. He is just snacking on his rawhide. Oh. So. The refinement center is this way, though. Oh, looks like Rusty has decided he is done with his snack. Hey, Shadow! Supreme Lurker, guys. So, the refinery is underneath all this. So, we need to go to the cave entrance, which is right over here. Well, I say he's done with his snack, but what really has happened is he is just over there. Let's see if we can't switch over the rusty cam a little bit. We got to figure out a better way to do this. And I have yet to figure out one that's resource effective so far. So we 
need to fast travel to this shrine to get to this refinery here. All right. Get producing. Yes. Four energy wells. Energy well times four. And we don't have anything to track that with. Huh. Interesting. So another thing for me to get for the the art going on. Not exactly what we thought we had coming on, but it's still pretty cool. Um Alright, well I've been trying to kind of avoid this for a little bit, but it looks like now is the time. We need to go underground. We are we are running low on zonite resources, and for us to be able to travel to these labyrinths that we have done things to get access for, we have to be able to go really really scary high in the sky, and that means we got to do things that we had never done before. So, all right. So you're once again in the gloom, but before we get too deep in, in the gloom, let's uh, let's eat. All right. Now I was talking to a coworker. You know, I I do my best. I do my absolute darndest to avoid spoilers, but there are colleagues who, you know, they're 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 not watching the stream. They're not fans of the channel. You know, they, in some cases, you know, they they know that I, I stream, but in other cases, they they don't. And so one was talking about some of the neat stuff. And they were talking about this video they watched, and specifically about these statues. And these statues that have these really good weapons, right? We come up, and all these weapons that we come and see, they have these sparkle things, right? And the sparkle things, I don't know if we can see the weapons specifically or not, they're, they're restored weapons, right? They're fully restored weapons. And the loot table for these things, because they they also respawn. Delving into the darkness. Good morning! Hey Sue! Good morning, Hobbs. And yeah, we are delving into the darkness because we realize we need some zonite. And that, that, that is one of the things that we definitely need. Because we definitely need to be able to start constructing things. And we definitely need to be able to start upgrading our charge. Uh, which we just did for the first time. And didn't even realize it was something that was tracked like that. So we need to have a tracker for that too. Um... But we also need to be able to start farming some arrows. And one of the things that I remember from the original Breath of the Wild is that farming arrows is really easy, like we were doing kinda yesterday. When you have a a uh, an enemy that has a, or enemy kind of station that has an archer and so you can basically fight watch the archers throw the air you shoot the arrows at you not throw uh, whoops yeah. 
Well, there's a platform over that way. Oh no. Please don't. Please don't blend me. Please don't blend me. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh. And so if we can find some archers to fight down here, because there's plenty of little stations here, we could probably, I wouldn't say easily, but at the very least we can efficiently do some actual farming. Oh, he's finally settled back into his bed again, Turtle Club. Let's let's get this back on the bed cam. Bed cam. Well, it's close to bed cam as he'll allow. Unfortunately, guys, it looks like we're going to have to suffice with Corgi Butt. And, you know, we, we were told from his owner that he was a purebred Corgi. We were told um, that that is uh, absolutely what he should be. Now, that said, I've been watching videos. I've been learning everything I can about the Corgis. And while I've been learning about Corgis, I've learned a lot of things that I didn't know um, about dogs in general. And I've learned a lot of things about just the breed. And I've learned a lot of things about, you know, taking care of the dogs and training them and a, and a number of other things. And, you know, when you start down the pet ownership rabbit hole, and, you know, there, there's a lot of things for a lot of different pets that people do. And Digger and I, you know, we, we really do love our animals. And case in point, our guinea pigs that we had, um, we used to live in a, a two-bedroom apartment in Oklahoma. And one of the things that we knew from reading about guinea pigs is that they can live a very healthy, long life. Most people who happen to have a guinea pig, their guinea pigs tend to live, uh, you know, about two maybe three years big guinea pigs can actually live far longer than that and it all has to do with basically how you keep them yeah. and case in point uh, when we discovered this we started reading some things involving guinea pigs yeah. and how we can keep them and whoa that's some crazy stuff down there uh, we're not going to be exploring that if we can help it but one of the things that was a big deal about keeping guinea pigs healthy was making sure they had plenty of space. Now, plenty of space, you know, for something that comes in usually like a, a two foot by one foot cage, right? So what's plenty of space? That's a good question. That was one that I wasn't sure of where these people were going with it. Oh, that is a whole lot of nope. And these things run here. Oh, 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 okay, good, good. We need to, we need to run. We need to do all of the Ds, the dodge, the dip, the duck, the dive. And we need to all of this um, hello oh okay we're supposed to be getting um, arrows but we're definitely failing at that um, hello do you have a ladder I can climb you sure do excuse me I need all of your arrows um, you had no arrows why did you not have arrows He had some arrows, but not all of the arrows. Oh, okay, okay, all right. We're 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 okay. We're not in a great position, but we're not in a horrible position. Oh, really, Riju? You're going to stop because I mm, no, mm -mm, mm 
Mm-mm. Okay. We're about to get splatted by this thing. Oh, I'm so lucky. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is cool. Let's uh, let's switch out to the stone talus hammer and give him forty wax here. Okay. Well, that was horrible. not what we're trying to do. That's not what we're trying to get. Rusty. That's your fan, buddy. You lost your rawhide. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know. You lost your rawhide. Give me one second. One second. Alright. One second. Here we go. Right, here's your rawhide. There's your rawhide. Alright. Oh, okay. There you go. We have gotten past the shy phase of being a new pet. That that is absolutely where we've been. But so for guinea pigs, right? What's considered to be plenty of space, we found out was six square feet per guinea pig for their enclosure. Anything less than that was nowhere near enough space. And so I then proceeded to make a, a very large guinea pig enclosure. And yeah, um, no. Okay. Oh, you are an archer. Nice. We can farm arrows from this guy. This is helpful. It's a very slow method of farming arrows. But it's doable. Okay. We have lost the corgi. That is not a good sign. Not the most exciting way to farm arrows, that's for certain. But it is getting arrows. Alright, so now we need to we need to find something we can fuse this with, right? But all that is to say that when we manage to get a situation where we have a pet, we do everything we can to make sure the pets are well taken care of. So for Rusty, we started finding out a lot of things. They need lots of exercise, which we already knew, right? We, we knew that. We've talked about that a couple times. Um, but lots of exercise is at least an hour a day. So there's a number of things that we're doing to make sure he has all of the space he needs, all the exercise that he needs. Alright, is that a two-handed weapon? It is. Alright. Ha! Now we have a wooden shield with a wooden log, or a non-wooden shield with a wooden log. A 
wait. We we can't we can't farm arrows with that. Oh well, that's rude. What about this? Well, at least with this one we can. So that was one of the first things that we learned, right? Uh, food motivated. We've discovered that really quickly. Very talkative. We've got to the point to where we talk about just about everything. Oh wow, this thing is hurting us for a lot. We're gonna run out of shield at this rate. Uh, very curious, very smart. Um, you know, but you know the the food motivated thing. You know, we've been able to do some things with that. You know, we've been able to train him a couple of things, not not a whole lot. Because training does take a little bit of time, some reinforcement. But the 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 one thing that we've discovered is most of the behaviors that a corgi should have, he has. Most of the things that a corgi does, he does do. There are a number of things that we've discovered is um, he has a little bit more energy than what everything seems to be suggesting, like. Dig Rat walks him about four times a day. I give him a good solid half hour of exercise in the morning. I I give him a good solid uh, 15 minutes to 30 minutes of exercise in the evening. Um, so be between all of that, he really should be on the north side of exhausted by the end of the day. And... I was looking in, in reading and going through videos and it looks like Digrat and I might have to have Rusty get a DNA test. Now we're going to love him no matter what he is. Um, he is absolutely um, beautiful and uh, you know our, our fur baby and everything so we we don't really care you know it's not like hey if he's not a corgi we're going to give him away or anything like or if he's something else, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna give him away. Or, or if he is a corgi, we're more up to keep him, or anything like that. He, he is a teenager. He's nothing but energy. You're not wrong, but there is a breed of dog called a kojak, and a kojak looks a lot like Rusty, and happens to be a Jack Russell corgi blend. So. There is a non-zero chance that he could be that. Because his owner, who we got him from, we asked for any paperwork. And she is one of those people that tends to be very um, meticulous on designer stuff. Uh, that's just the best way to say it. She is a very trendy person. She's a very together person. Uh, but she is a, a person who definitely likes to... Uh, um, you know, experience some stuff. So, so sounds like a nightmare mix. Oh, oh, see, see. So now you understand my my minor, not my, this is not a major concern, but a minor concern. That if he is a, a breed like a Kojak, uh, number one, that's a cool sounding name in my opinion. But I also was a fan of the show growing up. Um, but they have the hunting instincts and the ratting instincts, and one thing that Rusty absolutely does when we take him outside is he goes nose to the grindstone and he snuffles everything and that is something that some corgis do but it's not a common trait from what we've been seeing um that's very much a jack russell thing though, because they are a they are trained so you get a chihuahua jack russell makes nasty thing so so the energy level of that thing i i'm i'm betting was like near condensed chaos for a a Jack Russell Chihuahua mix. Um, now I I oh this is a pretty cool little uh, light root. Interesting. Like okay. 
She was 14 when you got her, but she had attitude. See, Rusty's got attitude, too. Um, there's this uh, scene in a uh, children's show, teen, a young adult show, um, that I watched pretty well when I was in the demographic market called The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And there was a scene from there where they said, bring me, you know, four teenagers with attitude. And, or five teenagers with attitude. And Rusty definitely embodies that. He, there's a lot of things that he does do that are very sassy. Now that is a corgi trait. You know, sassiness is a corgi trait. So we get that. Um, but, but he's got a lot of tude. And, you know, that's not to say there's a problem with that. Because it's one of those, you know, it's one of those traits that make us love him, right? Is the fact that he's very much got a um, a, a big personality. But uh, the main concern we have with whether or not he is a a corgi straight through and through, or if he is a mix of some sort, is if he's not a, a, a you know a full corgi, then that means that any kind of health concerns that he might have. Uh, that we need to be on the lookout for, you know, like hip display show and those kind of things. Um, those are things that we need to add any kind of like Jack Russell concerns into if it turns out to be he remains a Kojak. Um, and one of the things that the Jack Russell can get is a collapsed trachea. There's the condition that they get where their throat can, you know, and that's a concern, right? Um, so. We, we want to be ahead of anything like that. Corgi makes us tend to look like the other breed with short legs. That, see, that's the other thing, right? Is he's got a very well pronounced, um, almost fox like face. And it was. Um, we, we've had several people comment on that, that he looks a lot like a fox. And they were like, "Oh yeah, we noticed that." And so that Jack Russell, that that you know that that face that they have, um, the Kojak breed generally looks like a yeah yeah. They're supposed to look foxy. Okay, see, that's one thing that you know, but. It, his, it could be just because all of his fur hasn't really grown in yet. Because it's a very slender kind of kind of look that he's got to his face. But we also have him, sh we also have him cut pretty short um, hair-wise. So that also could be kind of blending to it. But you know, I had never heard of such a thing. And when someone was like, yeah, this is a, this is a known breed, um, I was like, um, okay, interesting. Oh, I thought I had this. Alright, there we go. There we go. Took those both out. But yeah, if he's a full Pembroke cor Corgi, uh, that's amazing. If he's a Kojak, that's amazing too. It, um, you know, we're, we're already, you know, we're already doing what we can to make sure that he has the best possible home for his environment. Uh, he's got plenty of dog beds. His, his mom and I both try to do our best when we go up the small flight of stairs to take him up to the kitchen area. Oh, that's a Lionel. No. Maybe it's not. Uh, okay, yeah, that that's a Hynix. <sighs> it's in the middle of the road. Can we... be strategic sources say maybe
how much nope is this I mean we got plenty of arrows right do we have any arrow kudo wings or key swings we have 11 bombs will that hit him oh it does oh it did all right, um, so uh, let's do this. So, so far it's looking pretty decent. It's all about dialing in that range, right, guys? I, uh, I couldn't resist. We, we had to be a little cheeky there, right? I mean... that I, I feel like that was worth, like, all of the arrows it took to take him down. Yes, yes, I that's definitely a very big yay. Um... I, I wasn't expecting to have that happen, but when I saw that little step there, I thought maybe, maybe we're even farming some materials. Had we not had the key swing to be able to actually hit him from all that distance to aggro him, I don't think we would have been able to do it though. To be honest. What is with this noise? Well, welcome back, Mr. Shackelford. How are you? You're gonna bark at Dad, huh? What you barking at Dad for? Did you lose your treat again? You lost your treat again. I am sorry, buddy. I am so sorry. You know, I'm going to have to get you some special stage treats. That's what it's going to come down to. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's just no way around it. This just is unfortunate. That's not how I want to go out. 
take out the Hynax and all of a sudden just destroyed. Wrecked by Stalfos Goblins. Ah. Hey, it's one of those little stations. Some sort of vehicle possibilities. We know that we saw this somehow. Alright. So what we need to do is grab this. Grab that there. Grab this here. Turtle Club, he is so upset with me. He is so upset with me. Let's see if we can get a bit of a better picture of how upset with Daddy he is. That's probably about as good as we're going to get. If we can just get that right there. Oh, there's that disapproving Corgi side eye. All right. We have one of these. All right. I know that look. That look that says that you are no longer my favorite. I get that look about three to four times a day. So it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. Ooh, ooh. Here's something we can do. We can old school this, can't we? That's a big no. Okay. Okay. That's that's mostly fair. All right. So let's Man, I feel like there should be a better way to do this. Like Yeah, yeah, I agree, Shadow. You know, having Pose as this weird thing, I don't disagree, right? But, I don't know. I mean, it's like the boobles, right? The, the booble, um, those things used to be the things that would take your shield away. Can we just put this right, like, right in the middle? No? Okay. Alright, if we do this... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what, what, what if we do this? What if we make this this piece, right? And then... Can we sort of like... This might be really, really, really great, or really, really not good. 
But either way, I am here for it, Troll Club, and I'm going to explore it. I have no clue where I am. I don't know how to steer this thing. That does work, but it unfortunately proved that that we weren't where we thought we were. Oh, I heard something spawn. flying machine go mm. like did it just decide to despawn on impact or did it go over this ravine and just kind of keep bouncing the number of vehicles that I've lost in this game is very frustrating. <laughs> like, legitimately, I'm like, why do I keep losing vehicles? Why am I not allowed to keep nice things? Well, not that the things that I'm making are really nice, but still. Let's just set this puppy on fire. Fire puppy. Or not. Losing my timing. This is not good. I am. I am. I'm definitely a lot more tired than I thought I was. I I can tell I'm getting way tired because my reaction time just goes all the way down. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll we'll use the tree branch. We'll use the technologically advanced tree branch. Thing is way more sneakier than it should be. Read you. We need some shock and awe. Okay, that was pretty funny. I I wasn't expecting the 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 surprised, astonished, terrified scream as the thing zipped toward me. But I'm not gonna lie, that was that was that was uh, more amusing than it probably should have been.
well now. Ain't that something? Oh, that's a chasm hole. Oh, wow. Huh. So if this is inverted, then there's no way I can cross the water, right? The water is impassable. So this is a sheer, there's, there's just no way, okay. Oh, well hello. Oh, oh, that was rude, sir. That was rude and uncalled for, entirely uncalled for. All I wanted, mm. All right, we're going to have to go topside for a lot of reasons. So if I bash this one here, it has the seed on it. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Huh. So I can't cross this to get to there. So I need... Wow. Oh, well, according to my theory, if that's actually... If that's a light route that we saw from somewhere, where would we have seen that from, though? Like, over here? Way the French toast there. But that would have been a cliff. Because that's water. I don't know what that pin is, and I don't know why it's there. Like, I feel like I need to travel here and look toward the light route at this point. He is dead asleep now, Turtle Club. If, if, if we're lucky, he'll hit REM sleep. It takes about six to ten minutes for them to hit REM sleep. And when they hit REM... Alright, let's, uh, let's take this moment to actually cook us some food real quick. Because we do need some food. Uh, we need five hearts, so hold all the apples, cook all the apples. Should be like five hearts worth of apples. But when they hit really good REM sleep, they will they'll dream like humans do. They only last for about three minutes, according to what we've been reading. But, let me just say... Yeah, there, there is absolutely a, a, hmm, wait, is that water down here? Yeah, there's been water here, so how does that work? Interesting. What all is this down here? Is it past? 
possible. Alright, let's, let's just be... Oh, got a, a message from Digrat. What is Digrat telling me right now? Ah, okay. She's just responding to the stuff that I told her last night. Okay. going to slowly but surely make our way across. Hopefully not. Oh. Is that a frox? No. No, 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 no. We don't want to fight one of those. It's not on our list of things to try to do today. Oh. Uh. can make it across this field without aggroing the giant dude. There's uh, another tree. Well, This is went from a, a possibility to a full-blown problems happening. Um, hi. Uh, uh, no. No. Please spit me out. Please spit me out. Oh, don't spit me out into the gloom. Oh my gosh. in the eye? Does that do anything? No, 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 no. No shame in running away. Yeah, I, uh, I, I don't think we, I don't think we run away at this point. I, I think we just get chewed up and, and then spit back out. <laughs> um, and then chewed up again and swallowed. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let's try this from the same kind of place we took on the Hinox, right? Alright, so maybe the eyeball isn't the, the weak spot? Oh, that does work. Okay, next. Bomb at the, at the rock. Bomb at the other rock. Please spit Riju out. She's a very important friend of mine.
so we need to take this opportunity while we're in the belly of the beast to uh, appreciate the finer things in life like some apples all of the apples the fact that we're about to be spit up oh okay hi You know, that's a very good question. I, I, I don't know, Shadow. I don't know if Riju would taste like anything at all. Like, you know, it could taste like lies. Can we get, uh, just for grins and giggles, I was checking to see if we could attach a light to it. like the link would taste sweaty you know I, I, I you're not probably wrong and, and, and my reasoning for it is because honestly when was the last time link took a bath like I, I honestly don't remember the last time that you had like a, a quest link go go find soap in a shower Like the uh, the guy in charge of all the the chickens in Kakariko Village would would like to have you go off and clean them somewhere, right? Like, what do you even shoot this guy with at this point? I feel like it's going to have to be some more Keysight Balls. Alright, there's got to be another... Oh, here we go. Awesome. Awesome. Alright. We'll, we'll call that a draw. We'll call that a draw. I am, I am, we will absolutely consider that a, a very well fought draw. Alright, so next, we are still making our way to this station. feel like it's that far away but if there's another like Hinox or something in, in between us and it that that is that might as well be an, an, an infinite distance between us and it right what is that is that an arrow that's an arrow okay it's a whole lot of Poe Is my alarm telling me that it is time to say good night? Oh, Turtle Club, I don't think we have quite enough time for me to go over for the yellow dot, so we are going to have to save in this less than ideal location. But you know. It could be worse. It could be worse. We, we could be saving at the at the frocks, right? 
So hopefully we'll have some way to fully ascend from here. Because it's definitely up there that we gotta go. We we accomplished some pretty good stuff. I I I'm, I'm not gonna feel bad about what we did today. I'm not gonna feel bad about what we did today. How about you, Rusty? You gonna feel bad about what we did today? Oh, he's still feeling upset. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I know. I know. He is just totally looking away, not wanting to look at all with Daddy. Oh, this was absolutely fun. Anytime that I get to hang out with you guys, it's fun. I just, you know, thank you to, to everyone who was here today. Sue and Hobbs and Shadow for lurking. Really, really do appreciate it all. And just look at this sweet little angel here. Other than the fact that he barked a couple times at us. And yeah, he's, he, is, he is half asleep and half dead in the world. But Turtle Club, I'm going to have myself a good night. You all out there, of course, as always, have a good breakfast, good lunch, you know, good dinner. Weekend's coming up. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good weekend coming up. Um, but whatever you do, Turtle Club, stay safe. Wash your hands. And have a